Hey guys, uh, let me let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Cargill. This is Stafford High School of Science. Uh, today we want to discuss hand washing, and virtually this is for every class I teach. But it's going to be included in the uh, into the intro uh, health science. It's also included in biology and CNA and virtually all of them because hand washing is one of the most important ways we can limit or break the chain of infection. And so hand washing is incredibly important and doing it properly. If you wanted to really watch something about hand washing and the importance of how clean your hands are, you need to watch sterile compounding in pharmacology. If you have an interest in being a certified pharmacy tech, you know, think, oh, maybe I'd like to work in a hospital where we make the nuclear medicine for cancer patients, they have an incredible procedure they go through to wash their hands. Uh, and it's virtually the same procedure we'll use, but it's a little more elaborate simply because they have different sinks and things. Hand washing always starts the same way with a finger pick. You, you clean out from underneath your fingernails before we start any procedure. We take a finger pick and we clean underneath our fingernails. Then we go over to the sink. We wet our hands. We get soap and we start to wash our hands. Now I can tell you that the places that you're going to miss is right here. This area in your hand right here and right here. For some reason that seems to be a place that we always miss between the fingers. We're on the skin between the fingers, not the finger itself, you usually get that, but the skin between the fingers. And the other place is right on the fingertips, right there. Those tend to be the places that we miss. And so when, when you're washing your hands, 20 seconds, happy birthday twice, or just wash your hands. Twenty, I mean, 20 seconds isn't very long. And so if, if you're really looking at medical stuff, you're going to have to learn how to wash your hands. And it may take a little longer than 20 seconds. Finger pick, right? Get underneath the fingernails. Get the soap in your hands. Wash your hands. Make sure and pay attention to your fingertips, your thumb tip, right? Wash your hands really well. And then we rinse them off. And we don't rinse them off like people, you know, you see people put their hand under the water and they go, and the water runs on their hands. And, oh, they're growing great, right? Well, you're just smearing the bacteria back on your hands. The soap that you're using is not killing the bacteria. It's making your hands slick. It's a base. And so it makes your hands slick so the bacteria can't hang on. It changes the electrical charge on the bacteria and they slide off your hands. What I want you to do is hold your hand straight down into the sink and allow the water to hit up here above, above where you put soap above your wrist and let the water run down over your hands and run out into the sink. I don't want you, when you're rinsing your hands off, to do this because you're just rubbing bacteria back onto your hands. Hold them out flat and just let the water run down over your hands so it drips off your fingertips. Then, get a paper towel and turn off the sink. Get a paper towel, turn off the sink. Dry your hands, right? Dry your hands. Now your hands are clean. And so at this point, if you know, in my classroom anyway, we're gonna put gloves on. I want you to hold your hands up. Okay, I don't want you to put your hands down or put them in your pocket or pick your nose or whatever. I want you to hold your hands up like this. Then I want you to put your gloves on the way they're supposed to be put on. Okay? If you're, going to, if you're in the restroom, you're going to leave the restroom now. You need to take another paper towel and open the doors with the paper towel. And then throw it away once you're outside. Keep your hands clean. The major way we can break the chain of infection, and you're going to learn about the chain of infection later on, but one of the first ways we can break the chain of infection is washing our hands. That's so important. There's two things you can do to break the chain of infection. Wash your hands. Quit touching your face. Stop touching your face. 
we touch our face an amazing amount of times in a minute or an hour. Quit touching your face. Don't play with your hair. I don't have any hair to play with, but if I did, don't play with it. Don't pick your nose. Don't put your finger in your mouth. Don't stick your finger in your ear. Keep your hands out of your face. Viruses and bacteria enter through the holes, the nose, the eyes, the ears. That's why we have so many lymph glands right here. We have tonsils, right? Upper tonsils, lower. We have these lymph glands. You go to the doctor, they always go, ooh, your lymph glands are swollen. That's because there's a hole here that is susceptible to bacteria and viruses. And our lymph glands are trying to catch those before they get into our, into our di digestive tract or into our lungs. Okay? Washing your hands. Really important. Wash them for 20 seconds at least. Use soap, use warm water, rinse some of your hands hanging down so the water runs off the end of your hands. Okay, there's a video demonstrating that. I want you to take a look at that. There's a couple of questions to answer. But the most important thing, I want you to develop your own video of you washing your hands. I want you to develop a video of you washing your hands and explaining what you're doing. So you'll probably have to get somebody to help you. Take your camera and make a demonstration on how to wash your hands and explain what you're doing as you go along so that everybody knows that you've met hand washing or hand hygiene. Now when you are completed with that we will provide here at Stafford we we provide a certificate that says you know how to wash your hands. So when you take the next course whether it be you know, if you're looking at being a pharmacy tech or a phlebotomist or you're going into medical lab technician work or if you're going on into CNA or CMA, you know how to wash your hands. You don't have to do it again. Okay? So do a good job of washing your hands. Uh, I guess that's everything I've got. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing some videos on hand washing. Best of luck. We'll talk to you next time.